Hey everyone, today we will make a bit of allyl alcohol, which is a reagent in a bit of a synthesis um, project that I have planned. So pretty much the only uh, reagents we need for making allyl alcohol are glycerol or glycerin or what propane one two three trial if you really fucking have to um, and formic acid now um, normally you'd use a hundred percent glycerin and what eighty five percent formic acid I don't have either of those I have sixty no eighty six percent glycerin and 75% formic acid. I can do something about the glycerin, I think, but the formic acid, no, I'm not going to be able to purify that. And you know what? I'm just going to wing it and hope it works anyways. Alrighty, so I've uh, I've put the formic acid aside for now, and I've already assembled the uh, reaction apparatus here. Basically just a simple installation setup with an addition funnel on top. Well, it's a separatory funnel, but Eh, close enough. Right, um, either way I'm just going to put my 86% glycerin in there. Um, I've weighed out 65 grams of it, which should be enough for this synthesis. Um, yeah, just going to pour that in here. Yep. And I'm already going to heat this up in here a little uh, just to drive off the rest of that water and then I'll add the formic acid in and do the actual reaction. And while that is happily boiling off water, um, we might as well just take a look at how this is supposed to work. So uh, this right here is a procedure from organic syntheses. This is actually kind of where I got this procedure, but I'm using the amounts from uh, Science Madness thread um yeah anyways this just describes it that way that um we have glycerin and formic acid and they form this uh glycerol formate ester and then just somehow that magically gets converted into allyl alcohol which is this thing right here I should probably say that um, obviously I'm leading the toxic gases this may produce outside. Um, that's also why I'm working on this nice white surface here because uh, normally I work like on the other side of the lab there and I don't have an opportunity there to pipe out the gases and this here uh, is not actually some nice surface. This is actually quite shit. Um, it's an old wood stove. Anyways, uh, used to be connected up to the chimney there and I'm just using that to pipe out the gases now. Uh, so that's why I'm doing it over here and why the setup is all different. Um, yeah, also I should probably say that quite an important part of this reaction is temperature control. Um, the reaction runs at between 225 and 235 and it shouldn't go above 260. We don't really have a way of measuring this here. Uh, if I had a 2 necked uh, 250ml flask I could insert a thermometer but I don't have one. So we're just gonna have to eyeball it really. Um, I guess I'll just turn it off when the stuff in here begins to smoke and put out weird fumes 
because at that point we know that all the formic acid has been used up and we have to add some more but autogress it's working now and stuff is coming over yep slowly so yeah sure good just going Alright, um, that distillation is done. I've, I've put some sodium bicarbonate in solution in here um, such that it um, sort of purges this whole system with like carbon dioxide and water vapor and I'm just distilling that over a little uh, just so all that nastiness kind of disappears from the whole setup so we don't get any unwanted uh, lacrimatory surprises here. Right, this is the uh, product from that reaction. Um, now this still contains a lot of like other things. Uh, first of a lot of unreacted formic acid that just got distilled off. You know, it, it boils at like a hundred and something and the reaction boils, you know, the reaction happens at like a hundred and twenty something at least. So uh, yeah. Definitely. So I'm going to add in some sodium carbonate to neutralize that. And later, after that, um, I'm going to add in some sodium hydroxide to kind of um, destroy any other side products in there. Well, for one, there is, <laughs> I guess, acrolein from the decomposition of glycerin, which certainly happened, I think. But also, um, some allyl formate, just some of the product reacted with formic acid, making allyl formate, this sort of byproduct. Uh, yeah, got to break that down with the sodium hydroxide too. And after that, we should just be able to distill out the allyl alcohol, I think. Alright, so here is what I collected. Um, this is what came over up to like 83 degrees or something. Actually, that's a bit odd because the azeotrope of allyl alcohol should boil at like 80, 
seven point something degrees. Was it eighty eight? Something. Um. Anyways, um, the azeotrope should be at seventy two point nine percent, which this uh, it's probably seventy percent. I just let this go until I saw some weird optical distortions from the drops of distillate hitting this uh, liquid, which indicated the refractive index changed, and also at that point it was coming over very dilute. So uh, yeah, I stopped it at that point. And yeah, I don't know what kind of yield this is. Um, it looks to be about 50%, which is actually pretty good seeing how I used uh, quite a bit lower concentration of formic acid, 75%, where I should have been using 85 or even 90% for good yields. And also the reaction should really be done in an inert atmosphere because otherwise shit will oxidize and reduce yields and I didn't do that but yeah it still worked um, it's definitely enough for what I'm trying to do what I'm trying to do I think um, it's still got its very pungent smell well the smell is not pungent you think oh that smells weird but then it just hits you and it hurts like really it makes your your throat hurt it makes your eyes water it's just not good um yeah definitely good ventilation is needed for this and maybe a bit of a bit of a skill in holding your breath <laughs> yeah either way um that was it for this video um Hope that was kind of interesting and uh, see you in the next one. Bye.